Hey guys, I kick here, and welcome back to another episode of Levitated. Hello. And we're getting back into this. I did some building off camera. Uh, it took me two weeks to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, school does not allow for a lot of free time, but that's okay. I'm back at it. So, on my to-do area, you see I got rid of the little tick that said farmhouse. So, we have a farmhouse now. And I did figure out how to do this, I think. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But I want to show you guys the farmhouse. And one of you were so kind to tell me that I can eat mineral berries so I don't have to teleport. And oh my god. <laughs> um, but I do need... Alright, because you did tell me to put these in a uh, 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 bonsai pot. And for a long time I was like, how did I can't get clay? And then immediately looked at the quest book and it told me how to get clay. <laughs> I, I, was, I was in this... this this problem for a long time before I decided to look at the quest book that might tell me how to get it. But I want to show you guys the building first. It's right outside. Oh yeah, I did make these shorter. I know I mentioned it before when you guys were like, yeah, that's a great idea. So I went ahead and made this shorter. So Enderman can't get in here now. Well, kind of. One, they can teleport randomly because Enderman or Enderman. But also I've noticed because what I would do is I would sit here and kind of lure them in. So that way I could kill them because they were getting in the way of my building. And sometimes, apparently, this is just enough of a gap that sometimes they glitch through. So they still hit, but not all of them at once, which is great. So, I'll stick with it. But I built a little farmhouse. Look at it! Isn't it cute? It's tiny. I like it, though. Well, it's a cute little farmhouse. I, I found a- I googled Japanese farmhouse modern because I kept getting the little huts and I didn't want the huts. So this is one of the ones that popped up that was really cool. Of course, in real life, this is way bigger and such a different color palette. <laughs> um, but I like the shape of it and having kind of this middle thing going up. So I really like it. So what you do is you come down here like normal. Eventually I'll build like a more of a path looking thing and then the entrance is over here. And again, Enderman can't get in here. So I have it set up. I have grass everywhere. I realized, and I don't know if this is just a me thing or just the way the game set up the grass, does not spread on its own. So when I put down the little magical overworld seed, not the overworld seed, what is it called? It's a seed that does grass from Batania. Grass seed, uh, pasture seed. When I put it down, it'll spread out how it normally does and then it stops. So I would have to find the little parts of dirt that I didn't hit and have to put down another pasture seed. But thankfully these aren't hard to make, it just takes grass on pasture seeds and I have shears and as long as I had one little grass block uh it was cool so yeah so I have this set up for possible farms and look at this roof or the ceiling that took me forever but I love it and I was able to use some wisdom wood so I did get some other woods in here on the outside not so much but it's in here so it's very pretty I like it uh but yeah there's little doors right here so things could go here and there's a door over here too just in case and then I left this kind of empty back here because one I didn't want it against the wall uh but maybe if I need to expand it I don't know but yeah, I think it's really pretty and I like it. But the only reason I built a farmhouse is because one of the upcoming quests is birdless. So it says you can't just snap your fingers and summon a bird out of thin air, but I heard magic can bring anything to life, even a piece of paper. You happen to have some mana lying around, obtain a feather. So I'm assuming, with the way that it's talking, is that I could possibly get a chicken. Now, if it's a living chicken, <laughs> that's the question I don't know. But if I could get a chicken, then I can start a little chicken farm that would be adorable. Before we do that, I also want to show you guys, I made a little horse, horse flower farm. So apparently, because I was actually trying to look up a, like the best way to make a horse fruit farm. And there's ways to automate it, but they're so complicated. <laughs> and I would rather not. Um, and most of them don't give you these flowers unless you have it automated where it's shooting arrows. So apparently if I shoot an arrow right here, or for whatever reason, it drops the flowers. I don't get it. And I don't know if that's something that still exists, but at least the video that I watched, which I will admit is a couple years old, that was happening. So I don't know. But that's a lot of arrows that I don't have. Again, I don't have feathers. So, but this is an easy way to get uh, flowers is just put, well, any block really, but I like to put slabs above. Uh, it's one, two, the third block. So you put a slab on the third block up and then leave this blank so it still thinks it can grow. And then it spreads out one and then it never grows again because it doesn't know how to do it. But it's a nice way to get a ton of these flowers, because you do need them for, uh, well, one, to create normal horse fruit trees, but also, like, to get bone meal and stuff in this pack. So it's really nice. And I have it where the, these are up to. 
but I don't have to eat them as much. So these farms now are mostly for, these are for bone meal and replanting, and then those will be to get the horse fruit so I can make more purple blocks. Yay. I never thought I would build with purple blocks as much as I am. In fact, the first time I ever saw purple blocks, I thought it was the most disgusting block in Minecraft. <laughs> but I'm finding a love for them slowly. They work in certain situations and it's working now. I just thought they were so gross. <laughs> but I think that they're cool now. So let's go ahead and get back into quests. Let's just stop talking about everything I've built. That's in the past now. Let's, let's work on quests. So before we get to the bird quest, I want to go look at the bad breath quest. Because we were looking at this before to make a fire rune. And we were working on it. This is one way to get it. We can't do it this way. We don't We don't have nether wart and nether brick and all that. We don't have any nether materials. We can't, we can't do this. This isn't working. So there's this way to make it. Where they replace the nether wart and the nether brick with dragon's breath and firewood we have everything else we i think i hope we have gunpowder we have gunpowder mm. how do i get gunpowder we can get gunpowder no problem i have flint somewhere or i can make flint i can make gravel i think mm. no going back and forth doesn't help <laughs> Let's see, hang on a second. Uh, gravel, and gravel is made from... Absolutely nothing. How do I get gravel? I could put cobblestone in a squeezer. Ooh, squeezer's easy. Okay. Cobblestone in a squeezer. Alright, we'll figure out how to get that in a second. What we're focusing on is I have everything else. I have firewood, it should be in here. Yeah, I have two things of firewood. I have all of the mana stuff that I need. It's just the dragon's breath. And remember, a couple episodes ago, or last episode, I can't remember, we were trying to get Dragon's Breath, and I failed horribly, and ended up getting a lot of a different type of something or another. It was like a... Where is it? Where? Hello? Is it in here and I just missed it? I got a different bottle of something. I don't know where I put it, though. But anyway, I have 48 glass, so we're just gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna make so many bottles, just in case. I don't know where I put those extra bottles. Did I throw them out? I have no memory of this. I'm so confused. I don't know. But anyway, what I'm being told is don't click on the ground on it. Hmm. This is why I have this note. How to dragon's breath. The, because the problem is, is you, if you click on the air or the ground, it gives you one or the other, and I'm not sure. Hang on. How to get dragon's breath. Or dragon fireball clouds in an empty bottle. Well, okay. That's what I was trying to do. Let's go ahead and try this again. I'm not going to attack her yet. Up. Okay. Hit. Okay, girl. Don't be super loud, please. Hello. Alright, there's still the thingy here, so if I go... I got it! I'm getting so much of it! Give me more. I got it! Oh, I'm out! I'm out. Ow. No, no. Did I? I didn't mean to look. I didn't mean to look. Stop it. Thank you for your pearl. Uh, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to fight her yet, because that would suck. I got dragon's breath. Okay, I had to go in from underneath. That works. Okay. I got dragon's breath. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I can make things now. So firewood... I need two dragon's breath. I guess I could put the dragon's breath over here. Uh, and then I needed mana powder and mana steel ingots. How do I have so much mana powder? I must be getting that by accident. I need another mana ingot, and then I needed gravel. Alright. I said in a squeezer. How do I make a squeezer? 
Also, does this need power, or can I just speed slot in prison? Jumping on it. Okay, I could do that. Two sticks, planks, iron ingot, iron block. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. And then two sticks, or four sticks, and then two of those. Okay. It's kind of mechanical power. We haven't had anything with power yet. Block. Squeezer. <laughs> Squeezing like, well, what's that from? Did I open up anything? What's that from? Did I do a quest ahead of time? No. What's that from? Oh, it's from uh, Integrated Dynamics. That's cool. Okay. I'll take that. And I just need to squeeze some cobblestone. So I guess I can do just six, because I need flint. I guess I can put this underneath here. Hit. Eh. Oh, I have to jump on it repeatedly. <laughs> Ooh, I need a I need a lever. One, two. I've done this before. I have slight memories of this. I don't know when or how. I didn't want to open the window. When or how? There we go. This will just take a second. Give me, give me, give me a moment. Hit, hit, hit. Jumping on things. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what I could do is either break this to try and get gravel, or just craft it. And this will take forever if I do it this way, so I'm gonna just craft it. <laughs> okay, two flint. Okay. So now I just need- I need to make this into a mana ingot, and then... Ooh, do I have- is there- I've gotten to a part of Batania I probably haven't done yet with runestones. I mean, I've done in general, but not here. Yeah, I need the runic altar. Okay. Uh, altar. Okay. So to make that, we just need a mana diamond and some living rock. That is not difficult whatsoever. I was just getting ahead of myself. I also need my wand. So I need... One. One, two, three, four, five. And my wand. Where is it? There it is. Crafting time. It's been a while since I've done Batania. I'm surprised I forgot about that, though. Alright, so now I should be able to just kind of place that anywhere. I have to break this. Because I gotta have it, I think, right above that. And I don't know how long this will take, so I'm gonna just do one. Oh. I'm a dummy. I need this to be gunpowder. Come, come on, you can do it. Be, get in, get in there. Come on. One of you did it. There we go. Okay. Do 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 do. Ooh, that's going faster than I thought it would. I need another living rock. Ah, where did I? There it is. Eat. Okay. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, it's already almost done. This is so good. And bam! Drop pop candy. I love that quest thing. We did it. Go reach. Bad breath. Okay. So that means now we can go ahead and move on to. Let's see. What could I craft with this? I can make other runes with it. I can make certain flowers. Okay, that's not bad. Mo main thing's probably the terrestrial ag agglomeration plate. But we'll see. I want to get a chicken, though. We're going to get a chicken. Alright, so... Magic can bring anything to life, even a piece of paper. 
So I have a feeling. Because it says feather. And the way to get a feather is every bird drops feathers and eat even paper ones. Also, I'm pretty sure anything that has wings counts as a bird, right? So I'm thinking if I search paper, I'm going to get something interesting. Paper. Fold the paper in half vertically. So... Shift right clicking on a crafting table station to fold it in half, but one cannot do so without some experience in paper folding. You can fold the paper again in a crafting table. So what I'm hoping that means is... Do I even have sugar cane? I'm hoping that's the paper it's talking about. <laughs> How do I get paper? Can I get it from books? I don't have books. I don't want to get anything. Paper is made from either books or sugar cane, none of which that I own. How does one get sugar cane? Sugar cane is made from... Stygian creepers in a mana pool. Okay. I would want to do this a couple times, but honestly one would be better than none, so I can... Hey, I mean, grass doesn't grow in the end. Does anything grow? Someone stole my cactus. Who? I had a cactus here that I did off camera because I needed it. I don't remember why. Who in their right mind just carries a cactus? That hurts. These undermen be crazy. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, like, right here. Ooh, I had enough. Do I have enough for three? No, I only have enough for one. Hmm. Well, what I could do... Bonsai pots. Also refilling the mana. Okay, so I thought I was going to hold off on making the bonsai pot for a little bit because it's later on in the quest line, but that doesn't appear to be the case. I have to do that sooner than later, which is okay. Excuse me, which is okay. There we go. I'm going to do that. Eat it. Thank you. So I like doing things in the order to the best of my ability. But it looks like I'm going to have to skip ahead just, just a teeny bit to get the Claconia. That's okay. Claconia. Claconia is made with a Rune of Earth, which shouldn't be too difficult for us to get a hold of. So let's do Rune of Earth. So we need another mana powder, another mana steel, and then stone, block of coal, and a mushroom. I think the only thing we don't have is a mushroom, but those shouldn't be too hard to get. Let's see. So I said one of these. Mana steel. Okay, I gotta put up some stuff too. Hang on. I'm confusing myself because I prepared myself to make two runes of fire when I didn't need to do that. You keep the sand. I don't need the gunpowder. Gunpowder can go right there. Okay. A block of coal. A stone and a mushroom. Okay, the mushroom is hard because it's embiotic. Okay, that's not hard actually. I only have to do this once to get one mushroom. Can I grow mushrooms in a bond? I cannot. I cannot grow mushrooms in a bonsai pot. That's okay. That would be a cool thing for them to introduce, though. Just saying. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and quickly make this. I didn't know you could do that with the pure daisy. So I'm gonna put this here. That goes there. Ooh, pretty lights. And it should make a mushroom, and then we could just immediately throw it onto... The thing. 
Oh, I thought you were carrying this and I was gonna hurt you. You guys need to stop stealing my stuff. I just gotta craft that into a coal block. That would probably help. There we go. Turn into a mushroom, please. Why does this always gotta take so long? <laughs> Come on, it's the last thing we're gonna do for today. I'm impatient. It looks like my patience is gonna have to stick with me because this might take a while. I don't know how long this will take. Probably during the outro it's gonna turn over, but that's okay. Well, we're at the end of this episode, so if you guys enjoyed... I need another block of living rock anyway. You know, I'll do it during the outro. Uh, but yeah, so we're at the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any tips, tricks, or anything like that, please put it down in the comments below. I always greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am. I do apologize if the uh, release of the series is a little sporadic. Unfortunately, I cannot help that with school going on. It is very difficult for me to <laughs> keep up with everything. Uh, but I'm I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Just, just just know that even if a week passes and hopefully never more than just the one, that the series isn't ending. I'm still going on with it. I'm just trying to get as much done as I can in between episodes because I don't I don't want to have to do an episode where nothing gets done. That that's just a waste of everybody's time, don't you think? So I'm trying to do as much as I can off camera so that way you you, you guys can enjoy everything. <laughs> Honestly, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. In it. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Words are hard. Bye!